October 27, 2005. Police in Paris responding to a burglary report encounter a group of youths in the banlieue, suburb of clichy sous bois Half an hour later, two of them are dead, electrocuted while fleeing through a power substation. The news spreads fast across the banlieue of Paris, and by nightfall the city begins to burn as angered youths spill onto the streets and inflict damage on public and private property in response to what they deem police brutality. The unrest soon escalates beyond control, and ten days later, by November 7th, more than 270 towns have been affected, almost 9,000 cars have been vandalized, and around 120 police and firefighters have been injured. 2,800 arrests are made, and the damage is estimated at around 200 million euros. August 6, 2011. London police kill a suspect in Tottenham, in North London, and a similar scenario breaks out all over England. It involves widespread criminal looting of private property and enterprises, resulting in damage that amounts to 200 million pounds. Five people die, 16 are injured, more than 3,000 are arrested, 1,000 of whom are charged with crimes. Did the looters have right on their side? Most of us think not, but some are not so quick to condemn them. There are plenty of individuals who can relate to their anger, hatred, and defiance of authority. Maybe they don't agree with it, but they see where it is coming from. So do many people in developing countries, who, upon seeing the footage on TV, were probably neither shaken nor stirred. They were simply amused laughing and nodding their heads, wondering how we, the complacent and affluent First World, like it now that we have tasted the poison they have been raised on. It must be amusing to see those in power fumble and stutter in a mayhem of what is perceived as their, our, own making. These outbreaks are signs, symptoms, if you will, of a deeper problem. So let us treat them as such so that we may prevent them from spreading. Failure to do so will allow them to set in, to come back even stronger, giving the global audience watching us, as we have been watching them over the past decades, the show of a lifetime.